Hey guys, Corin King here. If you got a pool that's leaking and you're uh, waiting to get it repaired, a good solution is to install a on-deck autofill like this one here to make sure your pool is constantly staying filled with water so you don't burn out your pump. So the things you're going to need is the autofill itself, you're going to need some rocks to weigh it down, and of course the hose. So when you pull it out of the box and open it up, you got these parts here. First thing I like to do is go ahead and attach uh, this part here that supplies the water to the actual autofill itself. Now there's a rubber gasket in here that'll bottom out here and you'll feel it start to bottom out. Don't over torque this. So there, it's pretty snug right there. So that's all we need. Next thing we do is just connect it to the hose. And again, there's a rubber gasket in there to seal the water so it doesn't leak. And again, that's all set up now. And now all we do is plug it here in the device you got two little latches right here that plug in here. And it sets in, and you're good to go there. And now, we use the rocks to weigh this down so it doesn't lift up and move around, and that way we can keep the water level consistent. So we'll just fill up these channels with the rocks. And then lastly, all that we need to do is plop the cover on. So there you go, that is how you get it installed. And now I'm gonna show you quickly the guide to uh, setting this right. So let me go turn the water on. All right guys, so I'm back here uh, adjusting the water level and it's real important to make sure that the water level in the pool is good before you adjust this because if you adjust this to low water level, it's never gonna fill up properly. So fortunately the water level in this pool is good. And so right now it's not sensing that it's low on water. So all that we need to do is adjust this to show you how it works. So say for instance we had this so now it's sensing that there's low water right now because it's obviously adding water in so all you need to do is once you get to this point back it off a little bit and now it's stopped and then obviously you can test it by pushing it down and push up so with it pushing back up and shutting the water off we know that this is set correctly to make sure that it only adds water when it actually needs it so that's how you add the on-deck autofill. Like and subscribe as always, and have a great day.